Hello everybody, it is me, Deplasma, and I am here today to play one of the relics of my past. This is Metroid Fusion. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a game that I played in the past and I loved dearly. This is a thing that we don't need to see. Okay, regardless, here we go. And we're gonna do this. So, I have not played this in a long time, I'm gonna be completely honest, I have not. But, I have played this in the past. However, it's a nostalgia type thing, and I just wanted to return to it, and I wanted to record it, because this game is worthy of a recording. This game is good. Or at least I think it is. I don't know about other people's opinions about it, but hey, we'll see about it. Let's get right in here. Gonna have to do some, you know, story stuff. But anyways, here's something for your face. I've been assigned to watch over Biologic's research team. So I once again found myself on the surface of SR-388. Got some uh, rocks there, man. Rocking the rocks, I see. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you're rocking them textures right there. Oh, here's Samus in her, like, pulsating suit of whatnot. Oh, and you're dead. You just, that's that's it. That the end of the end of story. Roll credits. There we go. The end. It was there that I was attacked by a life form I had never encountered before. Man, should I do like a female voice for this this lady? I mean, I don't know how good the, that my female voice is. Man, it's probably bad. It's probably like, really bad. I'm just gonna go with, like, the commando, and if any anyone, like, complains, or if I just feel up to it, I'll try it out later. It was only later that I learned the identity of my... attacker. The parasitic organism we now know as... X. Unaware of my condition, I was returning to the station. Hmm. When disaster struck. Oh no, shaking images. <laughs> Once the X had infested my central nervous system, I lost consciousness and my ship drifted into an asteroid belt. Oh, and there they go. Ah, even more shaking JPEGs. Awesome. Oh, yep, yep. You, you, you're losing, you're losing. Yeah, oh, well, that sucks. This guy, he doesn't, he doesn't know what he's doing. The ship's emergency systems automatically ejected the... Escape pod before impact. Biologic's vessel recovered it. And transported me to Galactic Federation HQ. That is a problem. However, during the journey, the X multiplied within me. Corrupting large areas of my power suit, which is... That's, uh, that... Pretty sure, because from memory serving me correctly, we're gonna see something pretty interesting along the way that, that, that involves this corrupted suit. Regardless, though, I'm not gonna spoil anything, because, you know, I played this already. It then came to light that the organic components of my power suit had become so integrated with my system that it could not be removed while I was unconscious. Ah! Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed, dramatically altering my physical appearance. However, the X in my central nervous system were too embedded to be removed safely. I was given a minimal chance of survival. But then guess what? Someone came in and saved the, the main protagonist because that's, that's what always happens in stories. They proposed using a Metroid cell to make an anti-X vaccine. You know, it wouldn't be a story if you didn't save the main protagonist. Or, I mean, it would still be a story. Because she just died. Like, that'd be the end. Just, ah, oh, Metroid was a person that died because they got infested by weird aliens and shit. Anyways, it seemed that the Federation had managed to preserve a cell culture from the last infinite... Infinite... Metroid from SR388, yes. Not Infinite Metroid. That, that sounds kind of interesting, though. The serum was prepared and injected without delay. Yeah, those are some 
some uh, weird, weird uh, amalg amal amalgamations of bubbles. Those aren't bubbles. I'm just gonna let you. This is not bubbles. The ex parasites were immediately and completely destroyed. Man, I didn't know medicine back then, like, had targeting reticles. Dude, that's like, it's crazy. Wait, back then? This is in the future! Boy! We've got some bright stuff coming for us. As for me, one life ended, yet I survived. Reborn. As something different. Pondering this fact, I realize... I owe the Metroid Hatchling my life twice over. We'll soon be arriving at the BSL search research station. I must prepare for docking. That's my that's my robot voice. It's 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 in progress, but we're getting there. We're getting there. The ship's computer has notified me of our approach to the Biologic Space Labs or BSL research station. Ah! Okay. Don't, don't ask. During my surgery, the research team sent the last batch of creatures we captured there, as well as the infected pieces of my power suit. After regaining consciousness, I learned that an unexplained explosion rocked the station. For some reason, this awoke a nameless fear in my heart. And now I am being sent there to investigate. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt, computerized co is something, CO, I have to bear. As it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I've found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other CO. Damn, she ran into the side of that, and that's the end of the story. Thank you all so- No, I'm kidding. It's, it's, it's fine. You see, there's so many ways this could end in such a dumb way, but it doesn't. And that's what makes this story so cool. Check out that ship. Look at how shippy that looks. Look at, look at that ship. Look at that map. We're ready. There's been an explosion in the quarantine bay. The bay currently stores capsules containing recent samples from SR388 as parts of your suit, infected by the X parasites. The cause of the explosion is yet unclear. Investigate. The quarantine bay is here. Move quickly and quietly. You are still unable to use most of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Stop at the navigation room on the way. Uplink from there. Is your objective clear? Hell yeah! Now go to the quarantine bay. You piece of shit. Alright! We're in the game! We finally made it! Oh, it got spoopy! Crack, man. There's a. Uh... <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. Can't wait to like be completely in utter. Ah, yeah. yeah, there we go. Hey, 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 come here. Hey, hey. There you go. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Don't worry, people. Nothing spooky is gonna happen. No jump scares at all. I would never do that to you, ever. I would never do that to you. Never. Now you guys gotta go with that 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 fear of me jump scaring you throughout this entire video. Man, I'm a dick. This is info. Oh, whoa. <coughs> This is unfortunate news. The specimens brought back by the field team were infected by X parasites. The X can mimic its prey. Any specimen could have. I don't know what he said there. Before the explosion and security sensor scanned one, the gelatinous X parasites invade and rapidly reproduce, killing the host creature. They also absorb DNA and use it to mimic the host. 
You were almost killed by an X infection. Only the Metroid vaccine saved your life. It seems Metroids were the main predators of the X. That's why the vaccine worked so quickly and so well. But it has also changed your cellular makeup. You will never be infected by X again. In fact, you can now absorb any free-floating X parasites without a host by merely touching them. This will allow you to replenish your health and restore weapons. You may also restore latent abilities this way. So pursue free X parasites whenever you possibly can. This station is home to many specimens. Species, sorry. Some violent ones. We must keep the X out of their breeding environments at all costs. This is vital, Samus. I am already detecting massive bio signs in this region. The X are gathering. This may be our chance to exterminate them, but... You are only at 10% battle capacity. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty, Samus. Is your objective clear? Now get going. I have released the lock and level zero hatches. Look for the leaking hatches. <clears throat> Gosh, that voice is like something. I tell you what. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go up here, we're gonna do the thing, it's gonna be great. Okay, yeah, there you go. Holy crap. Anything up here? Like anything? Oh, no, just green. Cool. Here we go. See, I totally didn't know that was gonna happen because I don't. Ladies and gentlemen, just real quick, I'm gonna get back to where the heck I was uh, before because I was noticing that it was incredibly laggy. So sorry for the quick jump, but here we go. I'm gonna get into a into a uh, a different like version of this. I'm gonna like boost it up the graphics a bit, make it a little faster. So bear with me for five seconds. Ah! I'm not even looking at the game. I just want to get to the point in the recording where I freaking get to play again. And talk to you people about stuff and yellow gelatinous blobs. I'm back. And look at how smooth everything is. Look at this. Do you see that? Look at that. Look at how smooth that is. We're going in. That's what we're doing. Can't take much of a hit. Yeah. No, they can't. I got a good voice now, by the way, because uh, you probably saw it, though. I have received news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Is your objective clear? With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. All right! Here we go! Where am I going? High person dead. High person dead. You're all dead. All of you. Ah, shit, cords. Yeah, pow, pow, you're dead. Alright, here comes my voice, you ready? Please, no! 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 That computer reminds me of the Federation CEO I served under the name Adam Malkovich. He called me lady. On missions from anywhere else it would have sounded sarcastic, but Adam made it sound dignified. Out of respect and with some irony, I named the computer after him. <clears throat> that is the most unimmersive voice that I have ever had to do or had to imitate in my life. I am so sorry, people. Can I use my missiles? That's how I use my missiles. See that? That's the last time you're gonna see it. Look great! How, how many people just flush the toilet? All at once. Because that can crash your power if you flush too many toilets. If you flush, like, you know, 70 of them or so, then yes, your power will probably crash if you don't have enough. That's a thing that you can that, that can happen. Well, I don't think it would crash. It would probably just like shut off. Anyways, on the main deck, this may be related to the X. It'll I'll I'll work on it. As for you, try to find another way to the target. It's located here. I'm re reading huge bio signs, so I hope your missiles work. 
To reload missiles, you can use a recharge room or absorb a special type of X parasite. You'll see them. Try it out. Is your objective clear? Missiles are your only hope. Don't hesitate to use them. Now find a way to the target. Don't hesitate to use them! Oh shit! No, I didn't need to do this again! You go boom, you do go down here, the guy's gonna be like, wow, look at me, boom, he's dead. Awesome, down. Keep going down. You see that man? He doesn't even know. You ready? Bam! Shot him in the butt. You see that guy? Shot him in the head. What about this dude? Ah, no. Eh. Stop it. Stop it. Eh. Damn it. No. No. Stop it. Just let me shoot your rival! Thank you! Aha! Take that, sucker! Take it! Oh yeah, there we go. Get the heck out of here, man. Shit. Alright, here we go. Uh. Sorry. It's, it's okay, it's, I'm, I'm fine. I, I didn't... I, I'm, you know I'm fine, but I'm not really. I got uh, some more life, that's cool. Awesome. Glad to be a part of this lovely crew. Hello, ball of gelatinous destruction! Please fight! Oh yeah, that's right, you gotta jump. Sorry, had to absorb this gelatinous mass. Gelatinous? Also, by the way, <gasps> okay, cool. Now we're a ball. So this is a cool ability. You can. This is like the trademark. Oh, Samus is a ball. I just spoiled the whole story for you. I'm sorry. Samus is a ball. Turns out she's just a ball in disguise, and she's she's out there for the the betterment of all balls. And as a person who is a kind of no, we're stopping that sentence right there. Samus, it is as I fear. The breeding environments have been invaded by X parasites. Sector One SRX has shown several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector One is a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access shaft and use Elevator One. Is your objective clear? Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the axe into the environment may still be linked to the earlier explosion. Well, here we go! Sorry, I had to go a uh, full freaking Hulk on ya. Yo. Eh, <laughs> eh. Eh. I just did that. You'll see why. I planted a bomb on the wall. Now watch, I'm gonna detonate right now. As if, you know, it's almost like I know this. This son of a gun! He's creepy. Oh! I don't know about you, but just watching this creature, whatever that was, blow its way through the freaking station like that, oh! Oh, that's something. Never got you on, room. <laughs> click it, click clack clue. Scanning. The main elevator leading to the access shaft has been severely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now listen closely. The X and Sector 1 have invaded the atmospheric stabilizers. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. 
clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Now, get moving. And then we win! And we did it! And we it was great! Without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Whatever you fancy. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.